Welcome to the Globe Educational Services Channel. It's a pleasure to be able to share a few ideas with you that help you be the guitarist everybody wants to listen to. I will discuss performance anxiety in this presentation. Performance anxiety, the fight or flight response to external stimuli, is helpful when avoiding bears, but can be difficult to manage when a music lesson hastens the onset of anxiety. Why would I want to discuss such a vast topic? I believe such a discussion will help you, is the first answer. The second answer is that it seems to me, through my reading on this topic, that there is a seldom discussed aspect of performance anxiety that might be part of your experience. To change a hitherto negative experience into a positive performance energy would benefit you. Also, the topic of performance anxiety is so vast that I will focus on pre-performance anxiety. In the future, I hope to discuss other aspects of performance anxiety in more detail, such as during the performance effects, post-performance effects, and the mental and emotional effects as well. The seldom discussed aspect of performance anxiety is that performance anxiety is often reinforced either through one's own practices or through the combination of practices followed by teachers and students. If you're wondering what performance anxiety looks like to a music learner, then I have gotten ahead of myself, which it seems I have. Please let me explain. You have a musical event coming up on the calendar. You know that event is coming up. Instead of being able to function as usual, you start to do things differently. Here is a list of the most likely effects you will see in your life as a musical event starts to loom. One, you stop practicing. Two, you practice more than you ever have before by so much that you might even injure yourself. Three, your personal life becomes so disorganized or, more politely, busy that you have no time for practice. Four, you feel depressed or unusually tired or might start to describe yourself as just feeling lazy. Five, you have distorted thoughts about things that start to take up much of your energy, often in the form of what-if type questions. What if I'm not ready? What if I don't get it completely right? And so on, until the analysis becomes paralysis. Six, you start to have more headaches, stomach upset, or you even make changes to your eating patterns. Seven, you start to have insomnia which further complicates the previous points. Eight, you have difficulty focusing on tasks. Nine, you start to have trouble spots in your primary relationships. 10, you start to use or overuse a substance or substances. The list just given sounds disturbing to me. What makes it worse is that it's the type of list that people usually link to a musical event, such as a performance in a public space, but that seems to me to be an extreme example. My point in this presentation is that I see many of these effects in the lives of students, not only in performance, but also in music lessons. I will focus on music lessons in the remainder of this presentation. But I ask you to be honest with yourself and determine how much performance anxiety affects you beyond the prospect of being in front of people performing on a musical instrument. I almost forgot. Most disturbing to me is that while working in many situations over the years, I've seen so many music students discussing many of these effects with music teachers. The music teachers try to understand, but they have often overcome so many of these hindrances to performance that they ascribe the very real reactions of music students to be excuses. Let's try to see it from the perspective of somebody having a fight or flight response, which means I have to discuss the roots of performance anxiety for a moment or two before getting back to how that shapes how somebody sees the world before having a music lesson that he or she has not prepared for. Individuals tend to have four cases of performance anxiety. One, fear of being evaluated. Two, a pattern of being nervous before performances. Three, feeling shy in the performance situation. Four, general feelings of anxiousness. Number one, fear of being evaluated, is something that I have seen week after week in individuals who are studying guitar. I mention this fact because I have not read many writers on the subject who have underscored that the fear of being evaluated may be at the heart of why people find music lessons difficult. 
is much easier to disappear in a yoga class than it is to disappear in a music lesson of any kind. It is critical that the music lesson environment be understood as an occasion for sharing. A music lesson is not a vehicle for judgment. Too many people have stopped taking music lessons due to not being able to recognize performance anxiety for what it is. The, I don't have enough time, or I'll never be good enough messages they send to themselves are something music students might have to trust their music teachers to work hard to address in a positive manner. When a musician has positive, non-distorted views of playing music for other people, some task-related causes of performance anxiety become much more manageable, so much so that music performance becomes more and more enjoyable. I will close this short presentation by outlining how four types of task-related causes of performance anxiety are much easier to address when the process of learning music is reinforced as something positive by a music teacher and a music student. First, music repertoire that is seen as overly challenging by a music teacher results in the music learner feeling less confident. A teacher can select appropriate material to build not only the skills of a music learner, but also build the confidence of the music learner to progress to more complicated music in a systematic, positive-minded manner. Second, insufficient practice of a piece of music, especially before a lesson, will increase the stress of a music learner. Teachers must be mindful of this fact. Students who enjoy the material have time to be successful and have time to see that the process of learning music is not a race, will have much more success learning pieces of music. Both students and teachers must be consistent in their approaches to new pieces of music and goals for when the music pieces are ready to be burnished. Third, Weak practice skills in general will make a music student feel all sorts of inadequacies on stage. It is necessary for a teacher to help students learn music deeply so that even the simplest piece of music can be transformed into an enjoyable experience for a student playing for an audience and for the audience who is listening to the student. Practice skills will be the topic of a future presentation, so I will leave this third point at that. Fourth. A lack of performance skills can and often does lead to a fight or flight response from music students. Each lesson and each practice session is an opportunity to master performance techniques so that the absolute joy of being in front of audiences encourages music students to continue to develop their artistry. There are other factors that affect a person's feelings of anxiety in regard to music, such as situations in which transportation breaks down or a combination of intense public scrutiny and a high degree of concern for success. Imagine a music festival and a significant scholarship for the winner being one example of what I am referring to here, or self-care issues such as sleep patterns, eating habits, and exercise routines not allowing a music learner to have enough energy to feel enthusiasm on stage, or in the lesson room, or on the computer screen doing a, a lesson via Skype, for example. These other factors are complex, so please give your thoughts on them in the comments section below, should you want to have your thoughts on them considered in a future presentation. In conclusion, performance anxiety is not something that can be left to address before a performance. Each practice session, each music lesson, and each performance affords music students and music teachers an opportunity to create a positive, non-distorted view of the rewarding and nurturing world of music. There are so many reasons to learn music. There are so many reasons there to learn so music. Many re but music is most importantly fun. So learning to manage the stresses is something necessary to teach. Remember, be the guitarist everybody wants to hear. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. I look forward to your comments.
So learning to manage the stressors is something necessary to teach.